Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm going to do my second installment of my review mail and show you guys what I have been reviewing lately. I actually have a lot of stuff this time, so I'm just going to get right into it. The first thing that I have been reviewing is this Butte La Royale, and this is a skin cleansing system. It's kind of just like the Clarisonic, only I think it's either $30 or $40 instead of $200 and something. This is actually really, really cool. I've been using it, and I have been loving this. It comes like this. It comes in this cute little bag. It's like a cloth bag. I really, really like that. It's completely waterproof, so you can use it in the shower or, you know, you can get it wet. And it comes with not only face ones but it comes with a body little head to it it comes with the face one it comes with a moisturizer one it's just like a soft sponge and then it comes with a pumice stone so you can also do your feet so i just think that that was so cool this is what it looks like not too heavy but really sturdy and well made so yeah i think so yeah i've been loving this and i think that it's a really really good deal so this is a definitely thumbs up. The next thing that I am reviewing is this Bon Appeal. I think that's what it's called. It's just an anti-cellulite and body firming cream. It's got caffeine and retinol in it. I'm actually reviewing a couple um, cellulite creams, but this one, this one has a little bit of a different texture. It's more gel-like and it smells better and it's got the caffeine and retinol in it. The other one doesn't. And this is the other one. It's by Spolon Tech and it's just a Gobert cellulite reduction cream. Um, it's this one smells okay, but it does. it's more organic. So this is like an organic side to it, and that's more of a not organic side to it. So I've actually been really liking this, and it's got like this really cool kind of, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's squishy, so I like that. So I've really been liking trying out these cellulite creams because Lord knows I need them. The next thing I've been reviewing is the Silvano sunglasses. Now, I saw this on Thomason, and I, I thought that they would be just like, department store kind of glasses you know nothing too major nothing too crazy um most of the items on thomason are not that expensive they kind of range from 40 dollars and lower but when i got them it came in this hard case here and then you open it up and it comes with another hard case here and i think that they're so cute i love these but they're like little glasses i mean they're so cute and they have like the wood sides but these are 110 dollar sunglasses i did not realize that until the little tag here says 110 and it says it on the back of the box too so i thought that, that was so cool do they look good on me yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> so i've just i've really been liking these um I haven't taken the tag off yet because I haven't worn them outside. I will do that when it finally stops raining. But I love the look of these. They are the kind of style I wear. I usually wear a little bit bigger sunglasses, like bigger. But I've always wanted a pair that were kind of like the cat-eyed out. Kind of like Audrey Hepburn, I believe. But I was pretty excited about receiving these. So these are a huge thumbs up. The next thing, and I don't know if you will have already seen my get ready with me with this or not, but this is the Kashima. I believe that it's called the Kashima um, Angled Blush Brush. I have angled brushes, and I don't care for them because I don't feel like I have enough um, movement. You know, like I don't feel like I can be precise enough because they're so floppy and not dense. This is the complete opposite. It is dirty because I just used it filming. But it's so dense and it's goat hair, but it's cruelty free. So however they get the hair on this thing, they don't hurt any goats to do it. But it also goes through a crap load of systems to make sure that it does not shed. That is a big one for me. So it, it has not shed. Not a single hair has come out. It's very, very sturdy, very dense, very nice. And I loved the way it applied my blush. So I'm in love with this. I'm going on their site and I'm going to actually purchase my own. Hopefully they have like a set or something because I want a lot of these brushes. They obviously make very, very good brushes, but I also have a, cu a cucumber. I almost said cucumber. I also have a coupon code for this, so I'll leave that down below if you guys are interested in that. The next thing that I've been reviewing is this cell phone case for the Galaxy S6. This is so pretty, and I love the way that it's made with the white and then the pink. They make really, really good cell phone covers. Like, I was really shocked. It's by Oblique, 
and I just, I really like this. So, and it says in here, inside of the case, it says, we've got your phones back, which I just, I like companies that are kind of just laid back like that and write silly stuff on their products because you know how laid back they are. So I definitely recommend these. I, they're nice. They're good. Really nicely made and cool ass company. The next thing I've been reviewing is this anti-aging neck cream, and this is by Allura. This is some good, good stuff. Like, if you guys want in-detailed in reviews of this stuff, they are always going to be on my blog. Um, plus, my beauty Facebook page, I let you guys know what products are going up on my blog when. So, just keep an eye out, follow my social medias, and you will know everything that you need to know about these products. The next thing that I have been reviewing is this Premium Stretch Mark Cream, and this is from Excel Skincare. This is really good stuff. Now, I have, I've had two kids. I have stretch marks on my boobs, on my stomach, on my thighs. Like, I have stretch marks, and so this has actually really been helping me a lot. The smell is a little weird because I think it's more organic than anything else, but I think that I need to start getting over the whole organic smells, and I... I, when I review them, I review them solely based on their performance, not on the smell. Um, just because, but I, I do tell people it's, the smell is not the best, you know, because some people buy things based on smell. I am one of them, but this works so good, so I'm so glad that I've been trying it out. The next thing that I have been reviewing is this, I have no idea how to say this. Garcinia, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, is the Garcinia. I have the supplement form, and this is their extra lean liquid, and it has green coffee bean extract in it. I haven't been reviewing this lately. I haven't even tried it out yet, just because I needed to talk to the company and find out how you were actually supposed to take this, because I didn't come with any directions on the back or anything, and I needed to know how to take it. And it was a good thing I did, because how I thought I was going to do it was completely wrong. So I'm going to be reviewing this soon, and I'll let you guys know how it is. And the next thing is this Suncella, and this is a veggie steamer. I haven't reviewed this yet, but I will be soon. This is going to be part of my whole diet thing that I'm doing, which I am also. You'll see this in the third installment of this video. I am doing a kind of like slim diet mix. Like it's like a, a shake mix kind of thing, and that's actually a giveaway as well. So I do have a couple of giveaway review items coming up in the next couple of weeks. So make sure that you guys keep up on my blog to see what giveaways I'm doing on my blog. But this is just a veggie steamer. You just put it over like a pot or something and you put your vegetables in it and it steams them. So I don't have anything like this and I thought that it would be really great. It's a really great way to incorporate vegetables and stuff into my diet because I love steamed vegetables. So I got this to review. The next thing is the Oz Naturals Olive in jojoba oil. I think that's how you say it. I don't think the J's are actually J's. It looks like this. I have already reviewed this on my blog. I love this. It's another thing that's organic. I'm actually an ambassador for Oz Naturals. Um, I work with them just over and over. I have been reviewing a lot of their products. Once I review something, I go back and I grab something else to review. I'm going to be, I think, trying out their cleanser, their ocean cleanser next. Um, this is really good. It doesn't have a smell or anything because it's like an organic, natural kind of product. But it works so good and it's not greasy and it's thick and I just I love this. So I've been using it on my legs like crazy and it's been helping my ankle bone that was all like gross from the winter completely helped it. So I really, really like this. I would recommend it. And this is the third one I told you guys about. This was the Max Absorb. I tried the blue and then the yellow. The blue was the B12. The yellow, I believe, was the D3. And this is the Melatonin. I've been using this every single night. I, I've already reviewed this on my blog. It's already up if you guys want to check that out. I think that it's under my product review tab because I do product reviews under all of my tabs, but the ones that don't coincide with motherhood or beauty go in the product review section. So I just, the one pump is like a measured amount of what you need and I use it every single night and man does this help me go to sleep. I am horrible at taking pills, so supplements that come in a cream form, yes, amazing. I hope they come out with more. The next thing is this La Butte Pure Vitamin C Eye Gel. It comes in a little tiny thing, but you know, I wasn't really thinking about it because at first I'm like, this is way too small of an amount, like thanks a lot, but the high-end Tarte eye stuff comes 
it's even smaller. So I didn't realize that when it actually came to an eye product, this was actually a pretty good size. It smells like cucumbers. I've already reviewed this on my blog as well. Um, it's a vitamin C one, but it smells like cucumbers. And they say that it, they have a cucumber extract in here. The smell of cucumbers is a little overwhelming in this, but this works so great. This is the only eye product that I've ever used that almost immediately it tightens my skin under my eyes. Like immediately. And it stays like that all day until I wash my face again. I've been using this so much. And the fact that when you use it, all you have to do is just tap your finger on the product and it gives you the exact amount that you need to put around your eye. So I have been loving this. I do have a code on my blog right now for half off the price of this. So I think it's only 10 bucks for this now and it's only good for April. So if you guys are interested in this, go get it before May comes. The next product is this Key West Retinal Cream. Um, this I just reviewed today on my blog, which will actually probably be a week week and a half before you guys actually see this. So this is already up on my blog as well. This is some good stuff. Now most retinal creams break me out and I don't know why and I hate that that happens but straight up retinal creams they break me out a little bit. I've had one that was not good at all but this one is the highest potency retinol you can get without a prescription and I have had no issues with this. I absolutely love this. I've been using it every single day like crazy because of the fact that it finally doesn't break me out. Like a retinal cream that doesn't break me out. Yes. And the last one I've been reviewing is the Cashmere Falls. And what this is, is a premium grade Moroccan argan oil no drip hair serum. And what you do is after you get in the shower and you've brushed your hair out, you just put a tiny bit of this in your hair and work it all around and then just style your hair like normal. What it's supposed to do is give you astounding radiance to your hair, unbelievable softness, and magnificent strength. They really know how to use their adjectives. Is it an adjective? Oh my god. I really like this. I haven't reviewed it yet. Um... I'm still in the process of using it. I've only used it twice, so I'm not really sure how I feel about it so far, but I mean, nothing bad right off the bat. I just want to see how it works over a course of a week before I review it. So I'm still in the process of this, but what it's saying it does and the idea of the product sounds really interesting. So I was pretty excited to try this out. So that is everything that I have been reviewing. Um, this is stuff that I get within a week. So I don't put them up like everybody else does with their Friday freebies or Friday review mail. Um, just because I've already messed it up. Like I can't do that. So I might end up shifting it over to doing it like on I don't even know because Mondays I have my series every other day. So I'm not really sure how I'll incorporate it, but it is everything that I get weekly to review. I'm going to try to get this up rather quickly for you guys. So it's all timed well with the giveaways and what's on my blog and what's not. Da, da, da. So I'm going to try to get this up as soon as possible for you guys. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. These are really fun for me to do because I always want to share with people what exactly I'm reviewing. And I want to tell you guys so you can go over and check out my reviews on my blog. Or if I have giveaways, you guys can take part in the giveaways that are on my blogs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you later. Bye!